There have been many strange firearms designed throughout history that quite frankly made you question, what the hell was that person thinking? I've put together a list of what I believe to be 10 of my favorite unusual firearms throughout history. Let me know in the comments below, do you have any other guns that you would have added to the list or possibly removed? If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click that like and subscribe button so you can stay tuned for more videos just like this. Without further ado, number 10, the punt gun. This behemoth was developed in the 19th century and was primarily used for waterfowl hunting. It measured up to 12 feet long and had a bore diameter of around two inches. These massive shotguns were mounted on small boats and could take down entire flocks of birds with a single shot. Many hunters would lay prone or crouch down with the gun taking up almost the entirety of their boat, align their shot, and let her rip. This thing was almost a cannon slash shotgun hybrid and it can still be seen today in many hunting museums across the country. Number nine, the duck's foot pistol. Picture a pistol with multiple barrels pointing in different directions. Yeah, I can't either. The duck's foot pistol was usually seen with a four barrel design, but there are many, many variants utilizing more barrels fanning out like a duck's foot, hence the name. It was primarily used by naval boarding parties to create chaos and confusion during close quarters combat. Number eight, the Nock Volley Gun. Invented by James Wilson Nock in 1779, this firearm featured seven to nine barrels clustered together. It was designed for military use, capable of firing a volley of shots simultaneously. While not the most accurate weapon, its ability to unleash a wall of lead made it a fearsome sight on the battlefield. Nock also produced and sold a number of these guns on the sporting market, one of which had 14 barrels. Yes, 14 barrels. I don't know about you, but I don't think I'd ever want to find myself on the business end of that bad boy, accurate or not. Number seven, the Apache Revolver. Named after the notorious street gangs of Paris in the early 20th century, this interesting weapon was a combination of a revolver, brass knuckles, and a folding knife. It was a deadly tool for close quarters combat and concealed carry, favored by those seeking an edge in urban confrontations. It operated on a similar principle to the pepper box revolver and utilized a pinfire cartridge. Due to not having a barrel whatsoever, this gun was essentially useless at a distance. Number six the double-barreled cannon. This massive and rather bizarre contraption uh, was designed during the American Civil War. It featured two different cannon barrels that were fused together and it was meant to fire simultaneously in opposite directions. The idea was to almost create a shockwave effect that would terrify the enemy, but in practice it often proved to be more dangerous to the operator than the target itself. The cannon just simply wasn't as effective as they had hoped and therefore it was pulled off the battlefield pretty early. Number five, the gyrojet rocket pistol. Imagine a pistol that fires miniature rockets instead of traditional bullets with a smooth bore barrel. The gyrojet pistol developed in the 1960s utilized rocket propulsion technology. These tiny rockets stabilized mid-flight, allowing for unique ballistic characteristics. Though not widely adopted, the gyrojet pistol remains an icon of futuristic firearms design. Number four, the XM25 CDTE. This cutting edge weapon, also known as the Punisher, was designed by H&K and Orbital ATK for the modern battlefield. It's a semi-automatic 25 millimeter grenade launcher with advanced technology. Equipped with a laser range finder and computerized sight, it can accurately launch grenades that explode at a specific distance, making it a game changer in urban combat scenarios. The largest downfall to this weapon was the weight. At 14 pounds, a soldier would have to carry their service rifle as well as their sidearm and this monster. They found it to be a little difficult to carry all three and most just wound up wanting to leave it behind. Number three, the Metal Storm. The Metal Storm is a 36 barrel firearm that utilizes stacked ammunition in each single barrel. For this particular weapon, a cartridge with no shell casing and no primer was created. The gun also has no hammer, trigger, or breech block, and yet it can still achieve a rate of fire of up to 1 million rounds per minute. Yes, 1 million rounds per minute. This futuristic technology behind the Metal Storm holds immense potential for future warfare. And I see this technology evolving big time in the future. Number two, the Serbu Super Shorty. Don't be fooled by its tiny size. This compact 12 gauge shotgun is a powerhouse in close quarters combat. Serbu did also produce a 20 gauge upon special order, but it wasn't all that common. Originally starting as a sawed off shotgun, the Serbu Super Shorty takes compactness to a whole new level. 
With a barrel length of only a few inches, it's easily concealable and packs a surprising punch. The Super Shorty went on to be discontinued in June of 2022 in order for Serbu to focus their time and resources to their 50 BMG line of rifles. Last but not least, number one, the Corner Shot. This weapon is the epitome of ingenuity and innovation. Created by Israeli Defense Forces in the early 2000s, it features a jointed frame that allows the shooter to see and fire around corners. With the ability to attach various pistols, it provides a significant tactical advantage in urban combat scenarios. The corner shot has revolutionized the way we engage targets while minimizing exposure. Utilizing a camera and a mini screen it gives you the ability to actually see and fire around corners, hence the name corner shot. One strange thing about this gun is actually the recoil. When you're standing and firing from behind a pistol, the recoil wants to go up and come back at you, but due to the gun being sideways, the recoil wants to send your shoulder out to the side. This is one thing any shooter needs to consider while using the corner shot. I definitely believe this technology is going to continue to advance and change with time and really just change the way we go about warfare. So there you have it, 10 of my favorite, most unusual firearms, from the punt guns to the advanced smart weapon systems, each of these firearms showcases the creativity, diversity, and innovation that exists within the world of weaponry. If you guys learned something new, be sure to click that like and subscribe button so you can stay tuned for more videos just like this. And as always, until next time, stay safe.